Hi, why is this so zoomed in? Welcome to Tribe Nelson family vlogging channel. Today the video is going to be a tad different as we are going to do a Q&A. If you don't follow me on Instagram then you should because I posted a little poll and a bunch of y'all asked us questions that we are going to answer now. We as in me and my husband who you may not recognize because he got his beard of three years shaved today. Can you hear me? <laughs> also subscribe to our channel. We normally do daily vlogs but like I said there's a lot of questions to be answered in our current lives as a lot has happened in the last few weeks. So be sure to subscribe. Here we go. He's so salty right now. I'm going to try to edit this as little as possible, so I hope, I hope he doesn't say anything stupid. <laughs> okay, the first question is, how long did you know you were leaving? How did your supporters take the news? Are you still living on support? Was it better to be a sudden move, or do you wish you had announced sooner? If y'all don't know, we came from being face supported missionaries and we moved, we left, and now we're here. I would say, how long did we know? We never, it was never like, okay, we're leaving on this date and we had planned it out. I'd say, basically, short story, in February, we got a job, or we were told of a job offer and um, his friend who said, hey, I feel like I'm supposed to tell you this. Lord told me to tell you this. Here it is. I don't know. I know you're working at camp and you're happy there. So here, I'm just telling you. I don't know if you know of a friend or somebody who needs a job. And I was like, oh, yeah, I know a couple people who need a job. I'll tell them. So I told them. Felt like, oh, that was my, my duty. That was what we were supposed to do. And then just kind of left it alone from there well then a couple weeks later we were talking about it and we're like are we gonna be here for the rest of our lives or what what's our plan for the next 10 years and so we just got i don't know talked about it started praying about it and just felt like the lord was telling us that we weren't supposed to be there forever and so we We felt just, like we needed to stay there throughout the summer. Yeah, stay we were there supposed for to be summer there for camp, the summer. so didn't want to leave anybody in the bind since summer camp is the busy time. So we stayed through there and we're praying about where to go, when to go, how to go, <laughs> Yeah. if we should go. And Because um, Josh had been there since he was six. Six. Been there so, for 20 years. So we did, we prayed about it for almost a year, mm -hmm. probably eight months before we felt like we should go. And then I started looking for jobs and told my dad I was looking for a job and then two days later I got a job and then a week later we moved, so. Yeah, like I said, just or God really started opening doors and it was just obvious that it wasn't time the first time we prayed about moving and then it was time now for us to move. But it, I guess, I mean, if we could have had a set date as to when we were moving, yeah. that would have been nice. But since we didn't know for sure when or where, and it just happened real fast. Yeah, because we were waiting on, like, job opportunities and housing opportunities and, like, all this other stuff. But then it all kind of just lined up for... Real fast. Real fast. So, it seems sudden because it was kind of sudden, but... We knew it was coming. Yeah, we had been praying about it and knew it was what we were supposed to do. We just didn't know when or how soon it was going to take place. Yeah. So we sent out the letter to our supporters. Our supporters took the news very, very well. They're all very happy for us. And, um, I don't know. It's yeah, been fun. But, like, the last part of the question was, would you, with it being so sudden, or would you want it spread out? I think it would have been nice to at least have a month to say, hey, this is our last month. Yeah. We're leaving on this date instead of just bam, 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 gone. <laughs> but we've never done this before, so we were kind of... 
But definitely, if, I don't know. if I would have had a job lined up and it was like, hey, you're starting on this day, I definitely would have said, hey, y'all, we're, we're doing this. Yeah. But we're here living in my sister's apartment ish basement. Pretty much in a so it's pretty much an apartment. <laughs> Just it's a two bedroom, one bath apartment. Yeah. It's a little split level house, so you can go in the front door and go down to our apartment. And we also have a door in the garage we can go out and then their house is upstairs. It's very nice. We're enjoying it. They but lived this is down here in the basement apartment for two years when they finished remodeling their upstairs house so it's definitely livable yeah i don't yeah <laughs> i like it a lot how are we gonna have game night next summer <laughs> <laughs> we have game night every night <laughs> <laughs> well next summer we'll have game night in our house <laughs> But they mean at camp. Who was it? Hunter? Hunter? No. Oh, Hunter Westerland. Westerland. Hunter. Guess I'll just have to come visit us. Yeah, you're just going to have to come here and we'll have game night. Freaking David. Will Josh shave his beard? I like it. Just a funny question. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Josh had absolutely no plans to shave his beard until the job required him to. Yeah, stupid His, OSHA rules. OSHA, yeah. So, he didn't plan to, but things happen. Things happen. How did y'all move... Why did y'all move to Chattanooga? Did Josh get a job there, or are y'all still serving as missionaries? No, we are not missionaries anymore. Josh is... We're not faith support missionaries. <laughs> We're still missionaries. Anybody can be a missionary, Every, right? Everybody's a missionary. Everybody is a missionary. Every Christian should is a missionary. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that. <laughs> but we are no longer faith supported. Like people don't send us money for our income anymore. Josh is working a job that is salary, not salary. Hour. Hour. Yeah, but that is how he makes his money now. Where did we move to? Right now we're living in the basement of your sister's house. Yes. Down here until further notice. Until further notice, yeah. It's fun living with my sister though. They both have full-time jobs, so they're gone and we have the house. Our Bethany will have the <laughs> house with the kids while I'm at work. Yep. So, Chattanooga. Who is the main disciplinarian and how do you discipline? Well, considering since I'm at home with the kids by myself all day while Josh is working, I discipline th throughout the day. Who's the main disciplinarian? We tag team. We do tag team. Like if, if Josh is home and Cherokee does something, then He'll get on to her and he'll follow through with the discipline. But if she does something around me, then I discipline her. But if I'm since I'm home with them all day, I feel like I do discipline them more. But it's just because I'm with them. <laughs> it's a process, and it's hard. <laughs> a lot harder than I ever thought it would be. Next question is. Does Josh ever diet with you? Example, like when you cut out sugar. For like a day. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a pretty good answer. <laughs> Does Josh use shampoo or body wash for his beard? I use shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. But that was it. I didn't use any beard oil or anything like that. Just shampoo and conditioner. Um. Next question. You didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it looks gets really yucky. <laughs> Does Josh work out with you? Work out with me with my home workout videos? No. <laughs> Before. Mhm. Mm we did a program together when Cherokee was a baby. But our schedules are just so different that it doesn't work out for us to work out together. So he would rather go to a gym. I think it's easier for him to get motivated at a gym than work out at home, which is 
the opposite for me. I like working out at home. Yeah, that could do now. That could never do before. What? What? I won't go to the video. Do it. Okay, do an ugly double chin. Do it. What are y'all's favorite go-to dates and how often do you have them? <laughs> what is our favorite go-to date? Well, just dinner. Dinner, normally. We do not go see movies, I will tell you that much. She falls asleep. I fall asleep. <laughs> and I have... <laughs> And I have restless leg syndrome, so it's not very enjoyable for me to watch movies. She falls asleep. <laughs> no, Josh. It's a ten dollar nap. Yeah. I don't know. So we do not go see movies. We normally go, um We'll go get dinner and then walk, walk around. around to a couple shops or just walk yeah. around. Yeah. If I'm just yeah. We just like spending time we together. We try to go at least once a month. Yeah. During summertime, when we were working at camp, we didn't get to, but... Mm-mm. I think she went on a couple dates this summer, though. With or without babies? I guess with. I feel like we we go on a lot of dates if you... I don't know, without family babies? Family dates. Yeah, family dates. Without babies, I mean... We try once a month. We try. It doesn't happen a lot, but... Okay, what kind of work will Josh be doing since the move? I'm going to be a termite man. Termite. A termite technician for cooks. As long as I pass on my test. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> that, is, that hasn't even occurred to me yet. Yeah, he's going to be a, what is it called? A technician? It is a technician. I think it's a termite technician. A termite technician for Cook's Pest Control. And he gets a company truck, so that's pretty cool. I hope it's a truck. I hope that's a company. Well, it might be a company it's, it's van. It's a company vehicle. <laughs> well, a little moped. <laughs> I already put you in a termite <laughs> moped. But we're super excited about it. It was one of the... Yeah. Yeah. He's really excited about it. Yep. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Where did y'all move to? Once again... Chattanooga, Tennessee. What are all the details on gender planning? What is that? How do you conceive a boy or a girl? You get lucky. <laughs> you get lucky. No. <laughs> no, God, no matter what you do, what kind of vinegar you drink, or... Yeah. We never tried for specific genders, so... That's true. We just hoped for babies. <laughs> and we got them. We got one girl and two boys. Well, one girl and one boy. And hopefully Boone is a boy. <laughs> hopefully Boone is a boy. They told us he's a boy. <laughs> but I think that answered pretty much everybody's questions. There was a lot of repeat questions. So there you go. It's all answered. But the main question is no, I will not shave my beard. <laughs> It's a resounding no. I should have gotten a fake beard. <laughs> a little Duck Dynasty Halloween costume. <laughs> Just kind of <laughs> that would have been funny. You look like a different person. Okay. I don't know how to close this vlog, but thank y'all for watching. Zoom in on that thing on your eye. What thing? How about I zoom in on your face? Yes, I have a sty. Stop. Are you looking at yourself? No. I'm just making a How about zooming in on your mole? Josh has a butt chin, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I have a stun my. Oh, crap. Beanies. And it's not going away. It's turned into like a little bead. I know. Thank y'all for watching. Don't worry about my sty. It'll get better. I keep wanting to say love you, Bon, but okay. I'll lance it. Pray for me. <laughs> but I'll post a, a daily vlog after this now that all of your questions are answered. Bye!